Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to add clouds into your drone shots inside Adobe After Effects. No messing around, get straight into the software and I'll show you how to do that effect. So first I'm here within Adobe Premiere and I've got my drone clip. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, because I filmed it in 29.97 frames per second, so the first thing I'm going to do is just interpret the footage into 25p because that's usually my output frame rate and then yeah just going to drag that across starts a new sequence right there and I'm just going to find the in and out points because once you're in Adobe After Effects you don't want to be dealing with more frames than you have to because it's already quite intensive on your on your computer so I've got a clip that I want, it's about 6 seconds long, so just right click, replace with After Effects Composition. Okay, so I'm here in After Effects now, and I've got the clip already there, ready to go. So the first thing you want to do when you come into After Effects here is to just select, select the clip, go up here to Animation, Track Camera, and just let it do its thing, track camera. Depending on how good your computer is, it will take as long as that. It's just gonna run through up here, as you can see in the top left. Um, it will just show you the progress of the 3D camera tracker. So I've got a couple of minutes to wait, so I'll just come back once that's tracked. All right, so now, as you can see, a load of little track points have come up on the clip itself so the 3d camera tracker has done its job and it's really simple actually you just need to find an area that's sort of flat on the ground like that one there that seems fine those three points so this red circle sort of comes up automatically just right click create null and camera and what that's done is create a 3d tracker camera over here as well as a null object which is holding the tracking information so so the next step is to actually just bring in your clouds so when it comes to looking for clouds um, it's really easy actually I've got this one website that I just went into called pingpong.com and they've got some clouds PNGs that you can download for free um, if not just go to Google um, clouds PNG and you'll get loads of results come up. There'll be loads of websites where you can just sort of download realistic clouds, PNGs. You probably want to get two or three different looking ones because if you want to add more than one, you don't want all the clouds to be looking exactly the same because that's a bit unrealistic. So I've got a couple of different ones here. Just drag those in. So the clouds are in now. Um, they are obviously not tracked, so they're just going to be moving along with the clip which looks a bit rubbish. Um, so you, what we want to do is actually just use the tracking information that we got from tracking the camera and use that onto the clouds PNGs that we have here. So uh, for, all you need to do for that is just make these two 3D layers, take this little pick whip thing here, drag it over to the track null, do the same for the second one here. And now, I just reduce the scale of that top one there, just move it, and the second one, I'll just move that as well. Now as you can see, as you go forward, the clouds are actually tracked in to the clip itself and they don't move as the drone moves forward, which looks a bit more realistic. And that is basically it. That's pretty much all you have to do um, apart from that it's just up to you how you want to place your clouds if you want to have quite a few of them going up in the air so you can uh, for example control D this one here control D that one and you'll have quite a few different and then it's just about where you want to place them from now on so if you go over to each one I recommend to maybe change the scale of each 
and if you ta if you go over to this little blue point here or even come down here to the Z rotation you can move that into Z space so basically into 3D Z space and with this one here you can move it left or right down so you can move this like really close to the camera for example and there you go that's pretty much it um, you go back to Premiere select the select the clip and render selection and then we'll just take a look at how it's gone looks pretty decent to me and um, that's it really that's the effect done really simple one to do doesn't take that long at all um, you can obviously play around with it as much as you want and try and make it as realistic looking as you as you possibly can obviously you would never actually be able to fly a drone that high up in the air so like where you'd actually be flying through clouds so it is a bit of a you are faking it just trying to trick the viewer a little bit but um, I think if you've got your drone high enough high enough up in the air maybe 100 meters or so high up you can kind of put that sort of clouds element into it and give it a extra dynamic you could also do it with loads of other stuff if you wanted to put I don't know a helicopter in or you could get some birds flying through the air or something also it's the same um, method of tracking as if you wanted to just put like a title in for example as well exactly the same thing except for obviously parenting the null to a clouds PNG you would just be parenting it to a, a title for example so it's exactly the same um, method to track anything basically Thanks for watching again. If you did find it useful in any way, then please do do me a favor and giving it a like and uh, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. And yes, yeah, see you later and uh, have a great day.